how much do you think this could tarnish Brett Favre's legacy? Well, I don't think nothing can tarnish it. Because if you go back and look at his history when he played in the NFL, it should have tarnished it already. I talked to people that was in the room when Brett Favre went to the Hall of Fame and nobody mentioned about text messages that he sent to that jet masseuse. Mm -hmm. Nobody mentioned anything about the addiction that he suffered from. But yet, T.O., they brought up everything. Can you imagine if T.O. would have had an incident, incidents like Brett Favre off the field? T.O. still, to this day right now, would not be in the Hall of Fame. Yet they walked right past it like Brett Favre did nothing. That is true. I the, give you that. The problem that I have with this situation, yep. you got to be a sorry mofo mm -hmm. to steal from the lowest of the low. Skip, they, they, Mississippi is the poorest state in our country. It is. It's citizens. So if they're the poorest state, Brett Favre is taken from the the, the, uh, uh, the underserved. You made a hundred plus million dollars in the NFL. And they're talking about, well, he didn't know. This is what Brett Favre takes. If you were to pay me, is there any way the media can find out where it came from and how much? So if you got to ask your, if you got to ask this question, is there any way the media can find out? You already know you're doing something wrong. He wanted to change the perception of the narrative. He take money for some damn volleyball arena. Well, his his, his daughter played so. Mm -hmm. So with you, oh, you see what Brad Favre did for his album model? Mm -hmm. No, he didn't get no money. Came out of his pocket. He stole money from people that really needed that money. Yep. Man, this is this is embarrassing. How can you got to be really low to take from the poorest of the poor? To, Brad, you ain't got enough money. Okay, Skip, listen. You don't, okay, you know you're not supposed to have this. But how am I going to give the damn speeches? Mm -hmm. They're paying you to give speeches, and you didn't even give the speeches. And now you won't even pay the money back. And this is what we know. Skip, when black and brown people do do fraud the government, they do it. They hell bid. Mm -hmm. You get an EBT card, and you get wicked, and you get stuff like that. Boy, they move heaven and earth to try to put you in jail for they 400 little measly dollars. Fact. Now this man done took a million dollars. Somebody got three million. Somebody got 400,000. Yeah. And they sitting around like, well, well, you know, it, it happened and we'll see. And they're going to get more money and do it all over again. Damn sure.